Experience the transformation as a single cat and mouse are reimagined through the power of Photoshop and stable diffusion. Curious to see the magic? Hi there. I'm thrilled to have you join me for another video adventure. I am using Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 with the Juggernaut XL version 6 checkpoint. First, I generate various stock-like images for photo manipulation. Why do I need a photo when I can tell Stable Diffusion what I want? Well, because when it comes to complex scenes, it's hard for Stable Diffusion to track all components and deliver the desired composition. That's why I first generate all the images separately to maintain control. Later, I will use Photoshop to combine them and then put them back through image to image processing uh, for better blending. First, I prompt for a black cat using the DPM plus plus 3D SDE Keras method with 40 sampling steps. The size is set to 10 to 24 pixels and the CFG scale is three. I use a fixed seed for consistent results and enable the Style Selector XL extension, selecting the photographic art style to generate the first image. I wanted a white background to easily remove it if needed. By keeping the same cat, but with subtle variations, uh, I add a comma to the fixed seed. This introduces changes. With two commas, the changes are more dramatic. Here are tests between them. This is the first image. This one has a white background. This one includes a comma, and this one has two commas. Uh, this method allows refining images with errors until an ideal image is achieved. Next, I regenerate the cat that I liked, enabling the hires fix option. I use a 4X ultra sharp upscaler with a denoise strength of 0.45 and upscale by two to create a larger image of the cat, which can be sent to extras using the last button. Finally, I use the REM BG extension with the ISNET general use model. And when I hit generate, I get a transparent PNG image with no background. Moving on to the next subject, the mouse, I prompted it to appear as if it's jumping so it looks like it's in the air. I use the same settings as I did for the cat. After upscaling the image, I sent it to extras to remove the background. I followed the same process for a red bow. For the last image, I need a Santa hat to give it a Christmas mood. I opened the cat image in Photoshop and then placed the mouse with the transparent background. After rasterizing the image, I removed the mouse's whiskers to make it appear clearer. Then I applied the mask. If you look closely, you'll see a dark edge around the mouse. To fix this, go to Layer, select Matting, and choose Defringe for small edges, or Remove Black Mat for this particular case. Notice how clear it looks now. Next, I converted it back to a smart object and transformed it to fit my scene. Then I added the red bow. Since I only needed the top part, I erased the rest and placed it on the mouse's head. After that, I drew a string to make the mouse appear as if it's hanging in the air. I also added a Santa hat, uh, placing it on top of the cat's head to enhance visibility for uh, stable diffusion, I added uh, a little light to the string. In Camera Raw, uh, I played around with the settings to improve contrast and lighting. Once satisfied, I saved the image as a JPG file. Now, in the Image to Image tab, I uploaded the photo I just saved 
and used a prompt to describe the scene. This step may require some experimentation. In this case, I used 1600 pixels, but if your GPU cannot handle it, a lower value should be used. The CFG scale was set to three, and I used a denoise strength of 0.45. I selected the photographic art style in the style selector. Then I enabled control net and checked the pixel perfect option. The control type was set to Canny, and the model used was Koya Control Lite XL Canny. Using a lower Denoise value could keep it more similar, but in this case, I wanted to blend some elements better, like the Santa hat and the string, to improve their appearance. I chose another seed where I liked how the string looked. Now back in Photoshop, I uploaded the original photo and placed on top the image I just generated with Stable Diffusion. I added a mask and using a soft brush, revealed the parts that were better blended from the generation I got, like the Santa hat and the string. I appreciate how Stable Diffusion accurately adds shadows and lights so they fit naturally. Without knowledge of how light works, it would be quite challenging for a beginner to add realistic shadows in Photoshop. Of course, I could do a better job with all these shadows and lights, but the purpose of this video was not to achieve perfect photo manipulation, but rather to demonstrate a technique you can use for photo manipulations. Since it's really hard to find free online images that fit your idea, Stable Diffusion can be a great help in this regard. Then you can use Stable Diffusion for blending all the parts together. I added some dots with a soft white brush to represent snow, and then I saved the image as a JPG. I uploaded the image back to the Image to Image tab, and using the same prompt, I simply added the word snowflakes. Then I placed the resulting image back in Photoshop and masked those snowflakes. Now I thought, since I have the photo version, why not create a 3D version? So in the image to image tab, I used a size of 1200 pixels with a denoise level of 0.4 and selected the 3D model art style. I also enabled Canny in Control Net. I achieved a nice 3D look, but I didn't like how the eye of the mouse had some errors. I sent the result back to image to image and tried another seed. I think I'll stop here for now or the video will be too long. Thank you for watching. Um, like and subscribe to the Pixaroma channel if you wanna see more tutorials like this. Have a great day.